Hello and welcome to the eighth episode of Tintakura. As a Tintakura time waste now, Garikano. Let us start with our first topic, which is the new elections. Ele- elections. Yes. Yes. Elections Broadly, one the elections. <laughs> yes. yes. So we have a new president, third president of the country. I know. Ani ali kiti ali kiti upfront vaira banda hai. After. all these shenanigans all these years of trying to pretend to be inclusive and all of that uh, for a while <laughs> we mm-hmm. have a bound man <laughs> as president <laughs> so things sort of went full circle right you know? because first election my inclusiveness ko cry modesi community bada ban raha everybody pushed that second election female president right you know? i think this time they were like done <laughs> subhas name mang was there <laughs> <laughs> minority either ways i know i think this time they were like bye thik sa <laughs> enough 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 minority pleasing let's just do what we want to do wala mode ma gaira they've settled on ramchandra podel who is an interesting character uh he is an interesting character ab yo chati sa tar one thing the the one good news that i saw throughout this mm-hmm. election was ramchandra podel came out and said more rashtrapati bye mane अथवा म राष्ट्रपति भे बिकज एट आई थिंक एट दिस पॉइंट इट वॉज सील्ड को जितने वी सैड म शीतल निवास पर निस्कि बाटो जाम होने अवस्था आदि है होस् नोस होते एटलिस्ट इट हेज बिकम टपिक मेन स्ट्रीम डिस्कसन इलेक्शन में उठने मैं नहीं गए आई विल ट्राई टू चेंज दिस भाई सो राष्ट्रपति बड़ी यूजली खास के एक्सपेक्टेशन होते हैं इट्स अ सेरेमोनियल पोजिशन वेर वी थ्रो मनी वेर वी बर्न कैश बेसिकली है एज एज टैक्स पेयर्स um so we'll see we'll see but at least bata jam bhayena bhane good job bhannu parla <laughs> yeah i sometimes also imagine like why we need the president in the first place hai te tabile bhanaya cha i think the first and second president we had were very like huncha ni lo hamle ek jana madesi le banako cha hai lo hamle ek jana like mahila le banako cha hai type ko bhanera huncha ni and i think like the talking point for the last how many years bidha devi bhandari was the president Like would be Nepal a female president? Okay, that was the talking point uh-huh. for everybody. Once any, they would a female yeah, quota basically. Kura or no kala? It's in Nepal is very our uh, fast forward or like once any it has like uh, uh-huh. some equality. Everything is there. One era, but a very Vidya Devi Bhandari wasn't the uh, key one. Ne, all that the exemplary, exemplary women to like once any because wahan ko expenses were questionable. To say the least. Also, actions were questionable. Uh, if, yeah, a lot you, of things were questionable. Specifics, I know. Yes. So, uh, abo, like we said, your party could say, let's see. I mean, last time we talked about Savari and all of these things, and now he's addressed it. <laughs> At yeah. least your point of one, it would be interesting. See, one thing is this man knows failure, I know. <laughs> this man knows what struggle feels like. So maybe he'll come out and do something because. He wanted to be the prime minister. He tried Poor? not once, not twice, Poor, how many seventeen times, times. <laughs> seventeen <laughs> times. He and Prasanna both tried, right? Prasanna succeeded two more times after that. Not the the seventh or eighth time he didn't succeed. Babram Bhattray became prime minister after that. But then after many years, Prasanna managed to score again, and now he scored again. Uh, but he said, I, "I don't think I can make it. I guess uh, because." कंग्रेस को साइड बड़ा ही वॉज नट इवन इन द रेडर है दिस टाइम इट वॉज अबाउट गगन था कि शेरबहादुर ड शेरबहादुर लास्ट बने सो आई थिंक ही रियलाइज ही वॉज नट गुन गेट इज टाइम ही डिसाइडेड टू गो फर द सेरेमोनियल पोजिशन है रामचंद्र पौड़ इज अ वेरी वेरी सीनियर पॉलिटिशियन एंड हेज बीन इन पॉलिटिक्स फर अज लाइक लंग 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 टाइम अभी वहाँ इज बीन लाइक मिनिस्टर मल्टिपल अफ टाइम्स है प्राइम मिनिस्टर तो होने बट देन लाइक He has had the his whole like ministerial position for for five times, I think. Several yeah. times. He, he was the former former speaker and has been six time lawmaker and has held a uh, ministerial position for five times. So he has a a big political history behind him. And basically, he's old. <laughs> he's old. Basically, <laughs> he's uh, he's hitting eighty very soon. <laughs> uh the good My thing the good thing is <laughs> yeah but the good thing is one old persons of the list of people who would who are on the way of younger people becoming prime minister right so bistar list clear by ra it's a good thing <laughs> that's that's one way to look at it he was an aspiring prime minister him going out that's good because subhash nimang was not an aspiring prime minister 
I know. So had he become president, Ramchandra Pawdel would have continued as a potential PM. I think that's a good news <laughs> from the election, if nothing else. I think with this going to our third point, but then aspiring politicians or Kura Garda theory. I think we should also talk about the student union co election and the yes. shenanigans that was yes. going on. Basically, yes. So Nepal co Swatantra Vidyarthi Union ma. No swatantra ta cha, no vidyarthi cha, mostly, <laughs> eh, 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 predominantly. Uh, <laughs> like, the name makes no sense whatsoever. I like, basically, the, uh, baira baira cha man chair, activism garra, just like the evolved democracy or ma, <laughs> local mm-hmm. communities are organized garra, political worth established garra, and man chair mainstream politics man, goya al chan. Amro ma cha, in job asamma party le ticket dine aos ta hao dena, tiyo, once any reserve players are racking it, how does the bata? So then, so you saw you. Basically, Arik party ko ahna ahna bidarthi sangathan sa. And this which they have a role in everything basically. Sarkari campus or construction contract dekhi liye ra. Onik kurama gaye ra new khosne, zada karne, contractor saam paisa mangne dekhi liye ra. Dunya kam garsan yeh bidarthi arle. Bidarthi, yeah. so called. <laughs> well, basically, universities like the Nepali government universities now have become the recruiting ground for these political exactly. parties. I know, and then our political party or all the other ones, probably come on one, so then you get some popularity, then you get. You know, mm. But then, like Nepal, ma, there is a like hierarchy. So, like, how many years? It's like a company, just to and company ko hierarchy. Uh-huh. You get promoted, you get promoted, ticket also, and then you wait Tehba. your turn. Okay, basically. That's it. And I think we're, it's not. It's not like we're getting really good leaders coming out of student politics. I know student politics ko history is as old as the history of democracy in Nepal. Here, but mm-hmm. uh, recent years, I am sure that they are the head of man share. But all of the strongly student politics were emerged back. Man share, my Gogan Thapa is one name that comes up. Any other name that comes up really strongly is uh, Ram Kumari Jankri, uh, CPN UML Bata. I think all of the she's in the other. Faction, they might all become MLA at some point. I don't know what's going on. Oily. So, I'm going to tell you about the same thing. I'm going to tell you about the same said to quote Biralole, Tulu Kotarama, Dud Bad de Hare, Chimiku Gorma, Benny Goyalza Bundra. I know. So, Ko Biralo, Kole Dud Badraha, Ko Chimiki, Tatina, but Jibunu no socks are basically. But one thing you have to say, you know. <laughs> like he really does some good writing. <laughs> he has some punchlines. Ah, uh, it's 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 what we get. It's what we get. Basically, all of them are funny. Because mainstream comedy is uh, still a bit weird. I know. All of the 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 satire is not evolved. Ne, the mainstream is mm-hmm. not. Except for some shows and sh- some artists. So I think in that landscape, he has a good chance as a comedian if nothing else works out. I know political comedies. Eh? Yeah, uh, there are politicians or go dictionary. Ma, there's no such thing as retirement in Nepal, so we'll have Tehita. to see. But the your student unions are going to say, What is the relevance today? And this is Jun Jun model, ma, they're operating. I know mm-hmm. it's actually becoming a cost to universities at this point of time. Kino mane lama time the issue by Rago say, Bio Unar le political. Influence ko lagi gorne actions le gorda genuine students are le problem by rounds okay? so the situations like jo pod ne bit dar thi sa unar le yo matlab hi thay na yo banana by ra ko Allah Allah tar unar le gorbo li tala bandi gor din san andolan karyakram unsa kio unsa and this pechi pod na pay thay na ki basically yeah I think that I've had like some first hand experience with this ma after it's a about 2020 ma after the graduation london out to one so so one when already my first was in nepal my pods who i'll go to a law campus study like constitution more law pods who more a gorsu khali i know and go ahead i'm more more nepal law campus go and more tu pani go you know nepal law campus go before the like actual entry of the there's the party offices okay <laughs> 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 the thing what I was shocked with, so before you even enter the college, there are party offices first, oh. that comes first, you know. And that was the TU, TU ma, it was like during the lockdown and I asked them, when does the, the, the admission coil open so they you know? And the people there were like, watch the news. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> watch the news. This was, see, I waited. Because I also, I started policy in Nepal, I was like, oh, I'll get the time, so I was just like, 
look for studies abroad but you know then i read the news i had to get my equivalency in some documentation from to you then i read the news dean ko office lai ago lai this and it is this the news or sude pachi then i actually got in contact with some of the people who studied in tu and una har ko 4 varsha ko course 6 varsha bhai sakyo sidha chha na there is no because this tarat cha not because of they failed or something like that it's just that course is uh. extended हो होना अब अलग जेन्युनली भाने सो मेयक प्रोग्राम में पढ़ा है सो अनेस्टली भोके सर्टन प्रोग्राम्स ये एकदम राम चल रहा के यू में दे हेव गट अ गुड ट्रैक रेकर्ड श्योर बट आज को दिन में के यू को बिगेस्ट सेलिंग पॉइंट टाइम में प्रोग्राम सकता भाई ओके चार वर्ष डिग्री भाज चार वर्ष में ग्रेजुएसन होता दैट इज अ बिग डील दैट्स अ कंपेटेटिव एडवांटेज के एक्जैक्टली I think like that is the cost that students are bearing because TU has a lot of affiliations. TU has up to over one. The student union is affiliated colleges or ma apni hoon sa, no? Ah. And they that is the cost that we're facing. Okay? Student union, like how relevant is it? That is actually like actual students are like say gado banana sa, so. but this Teta. is only serving the political parties basically. So abo ah, how relevant ane... is that? अब इसको सोलूसन आ पॉलिसी बाटो पॉलिसी बना पॉलिटिशियस के पॉलिटिशियस को एट डिफ्रेंट लेवल्स खर्च चलाने काम यही विद्यार्थी नेता सो विल दे डू एनीथिंग नो या अब प्रोटेस्ट करने मं चाहिए तब कार्यकर्ता चाहिए एंड दीज आर द कार्यकर्ता एक्चुअली लाइक हो हिट द स्ट्रीट बेसिकली वेन यू हेव टू अपोज अ डिफ्रेंट पार्टी लाइक डू समथिंग दैट अल तो बरू अलग मेलो डाउन भाषा है रिटिवली मेलो डाउन भाषा अब अलग अब ताइन तुक्क को कुरा में गए आंदोलन अब पेट्रोलियम मूल्य वृद्धि में आंदोलन करने विद्यार्थी एक तो यार पेट्रोलियम प्राइसिंग इज डन बेस्ड अब तो पेट्रोलियम प्राइसिंग इज मेस्ट अप श्योर तर कहीं कहीं पेट्रोलियम प्राइस इंटरनेशनल मार्केट में बढ़े होडजस्टमेंट्स है लेट्स बी अनेस्ट तो आयल निगम को बोर्ड में नियुक्ति कर पार्टी भागभंडा कर नियुक्ति करने ते पार्टी ने भागभंडा कर नियुक्ति कराए आयल निगम को डिशिजन को लाई कुन एट विद्यार्थी संगठन जिसको सरकार पावर ज जिस को पार्टी सरकार में छाइन आएर आंदोलन करे हो नाटक मत हो क्या विद्यार्थी के आवाज उठाई रह टाइप को मिनिंगफुल आउटकम के छेन कि एंड अफ द डे हे टकिंग अबाउट टकिंग अबाउट मिनिंगफुल आउटकम्स अर्क मैं एकजा हु इज नट हु इज दी अपोजिट अफ अ मिनिंगफुल आउटकम है सो यह इलेक्शन साइकिल में टू पीपल लुजिंग आई स एज अ भेरी गुड साइन बिकज हम लैंडस्केप में दुईजना यो एकदम चतुर नेता हु हेव अलमोस्ट बीन मिनीस्टर्स सीन्स डेमोक्रेसी है दुईजना एकजा उपेन्द्र यादव अर्क विजय गच्छेदार है दे रोज to prominence with uh, the modes agenda right after uh, uh, the maoist scheme into mainstream politics this pachi modes ko issue bhayo andolan bhayo and they came as this front that represented the modesi people ani tes pachi te identity ko agenda eta avdi uthara they kept coming up ani modesi parties haru ko majority na bhaye pani jun party lai pani sarkar banaun lai koi na koi chaintyo additional powers they always managed to be there hai na अल्ले चाहिए इलेक्शन में फाइनली बोथ अफ दम लस्ट अन अ वे देर अजेंडा अल्सो लस्ट भनम नो पार्टीज डिन कम आउट विक्टोरियस टू द स्किल दैट दे यूज टू अ ठीक चल रहा थे भाथ अब अब उपेन्द्र यादव माइट बी मेकिंग अ कम बैक रे विल सी हाउ दैट गोज लेट्स होप द पीपल गो बैक टू वोटिंग द वे दे डेड बिफोर एंड सेंग ओके दिस इज इनफ अफ इन इनफ इज इनफ इनफ अफ हो डिवाइडिंग पीपल एंड ट्राइंग टू push forth your personal agenda but we'll see because um, decide tai ba chaina but then uske party bada uparashtrapati ko candidate agadi badhane bhai sake basta euta sansad ma ek jana ko pad khali hune wala cha the khali pad ko election ma ko uthcha is the question and we shall see where that goes interesting interesting so uh, basically the baseline in nepali politics is once you get into politics कुने न कुने पोजिशन में पीपल आर अलवेज जस्ट सफलिंग एंड नेवर एक्चुअली गोइंग आउट दैट इज द सैड रियलिटी अफ नेपाली पॉलिट एंड टकिंग अफ सैड रियलिटीज एंड ओल्ड पीपल और ओल्ड गोस्ट्स कमिंग आउट अगेन 
there was there was a symbolic uh, piece of news out and the reason i'm saying this is symbolic is that it's just symbolic uh, anything coming out of this on its own is is doubtful tara aba 17000 ko death ko jun number dherai bhaninchha maoist conflict ko bela tesko bare ma chai hamro extempore speaker prachand le extempore speaker and part time prime minister prachand at some point said 17000 ko jimma ma linna 5000 samma ko chai ma linchu aru chai maile mare haina bhanera so somebody picked up on that raja ra army lai jimma type ko haina So to, to mention, this is, this is our second Yes. So then the, there was, uh, there, there was a small group of people who said this is admission of guilt to a certain extent. So filed case for, 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 uh, for that. Responsibility in the public forum. And then the court has rejected the case. Because there is no armed conflict in this case. Especially when you are fighting a power, uh, things happen. Right? not saying not taking away from anybody's suffering but then it, it it's a it's a it's a special circumstance panam na and especially uh satya nirupan tatha mel mila payak bhanera gathan huncha esto case ma haina in some shape or form elle chai transitional justice ko lagi kaam garcha basically uh, transitional justice bhanna le aba yo war time ma bhako uh, crime lai chai kasari handle garnu aba kei kura haru फरगेव एंड फोगेट को हिसाब से जान पर्न सकता कई कुछ अब दिस वॉज टू मच इवन फर दैट कंटेक्स जान पर्न सकता है कोई मैं को लाई डिपेन्डिंग अन डिपेन्डिंग अन द केस सो सो यह मुद्दा हेन जरूरी है क्योंकि देर इज अ लट अफ पीपल जिसको लाई तो कन्फ्लिक्ट इट्स इट्स अ बैड मेमोरी देर इज अ लट अफ ट्रमा एसोसिएटेड विथ इट है सो तो जस्टिस को मैटर इज इंपोर्टेंट अभी सत्य निरूपण तथा मिलमिला आयोग को गफ धे टाइम देखि भैर यो मेन स्ट्रीम पोलिटिक्स में मवेस्ट और आए देखे कुरा हो तर काम खास बात है क्योंकि यो एकचि इन्वेस्टिगेशन सुरू भे डिटेल में केसेस को थाली सके द स्पेक्युलेसन इज ह्यूमन राइट्स भाइलेसन को काम दुबई तीर बात भ्लेम छस पच्चीस ठूलठूल नेता इन्वल्व भक्त देखिने हो कि भाई एटा स्पेक्युलेसन छा पो अवोइड भैर हो कि तनकाई रहा हो कि क्योंकि पब्लिक मेमोरी तो इट 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 फिट्स नहीं तो फोर्टीन इयर्स हो गो सो बेसिकली मोस्ट अफ आर लिस्नर्स वोट हेव फर्स्ट हैंड मेमोरी अफ दैट टाइम इवन है अस पच्चीस तो भाग हिसाब से हो कसो हो रहा मैं बिर्सा खोजे हो कि भाई उसको दिस री इग्नाइज द डिबेट होना चाहे खास के होते हैं अस पच्चीस एट लजिकली भाई रिस्पोन्सिबिलिटी लिना जरूरी है इज माई ओपिनियन बट देन यो सेपरेट प्रोसिजर बड़ा हेंडल होने पर्व भाई दैट दैट हेज इट्स मेरिट्स तर विल सी वेर इट गोज तर इस कुछ पब्लिक फोर डिबेट में आँच कि भाई कुरा को डर चाहे देखा कि जस्ते माओवादी टू थाउजेंड सिक्स को माओवादी फुटे टुकड़ा टुकड़ा भर छरपष्ट भैस है है तर द डे दिस केस केम आउट अल अफ दम केम टुगेदर इन डिफेन्स अफ दम सेल्स के सो इट गट दम टू क्रल आउट अफ देर होल्स एंड कम आउट एंड से योजना हमें बुली कर खोजा भर so that that says that though symbolic this is a meaningful powerful statement in a way ki you did something wrong and you've got to answer for it but the statement alikati strongly aune bittikai chai joskin chai joskya chan manche and that's the symbol of it in a way oh so uh, i i wouldn't agree that like most of our listeners maybe like some of them haven't lived through it but uh, i think our listener group say mostly are in their like 20s mid 20s or and everybody like even faintly boy and mere aphne pani like I, i'm pretty sure you have your own memories and you know? everybody has like some memories of that particular uh, time huncha ni ani dherai jana ko personal incidents haru pani cha ani we been through like the the protests and the lockdowns and the your core fuses and everything you know it's a, it, it is a traumatic time in not just like personal memories but like country ke memory ma ke ani oh. i do believe like huncha ni euta public trial is when there was like huncha ni abo just a we don't have to go there but uh, we are already on the topic so just the hinderburg trials are and like public trials are bhago thyo ni mm after the holocaust or stuff like that maybe like some form of like a trial to at least like so ni so that the public can just like even put their cases forward right oh. so 
that should be a thing cuz see it's it's lot, lot of it has been swept under the rug okay? like we're not allowed to talk about it to kura kura nikal nomini and i like how you said it's a symbolic u to mola pani ke u chai chaina asa chai chaina yo kai pukcha bhanera haina cuz yo to case file matra bhako ho ni ta case linu matra maneko ho ni ta esto case to like huncha ni supreme court or any court in nepal has been like lying around since like ages ke and it will lie around like these guys have all the power to make it just lie around for another till they like pass and like ah uh-huh. you know basically they have the power to do that so so the the public debate and like conversations like this you know has to happen like ghar ghar ma like restaurant people have to start asking questions yeah, and exactly. it's, it's, it's stuff that we see and we ignore malai arko esto kura haru le uthaune question chai the lifestyle of the politicians that we have you know yeah aba uh, i think bhushan dal said it in 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 some in some context that aile chai nepal ma sarkari karmachari le euta holiday ma family lai lera pokhara jama bhanne bhane afford garna sakne situation chaina vacation lai janchu bhanera because the, if you think of it most of the middle class doesn't think of vacation chaina the vacation bhanne idea hudaina ni myself vacation going up vacation ko naam ma haina dai masu bhat khani matrai ho family together yeah haina and that is the weekend the nepali weekend for me growing up haina we didn't have the idea of a vacation we didn't go on vacation haina we went to the my family ko both of my parents were not from kathmandu so family home jane bhanne hunthyo chutti ma dasai ko chutti ma yo haina tara jun aile what's evolving now ni vacation bhanera eta tyo thiena haina and that's the reality for a large section of the population even now there's that's because that's the economic state haina so that's where we are in terms of leisure and possibilities and then you look at politicians and you say okay your level ko economic uh, prosperity your level ko lifestyle afford garna sakne capacity kasari build bhayo what brings you here I know it, it even a reasonable income bound doesn't put you there right? and we don't comfortably talk about these things you hardly see anybody asking these questions to politicians on their faces I know and why don't we talk about it why don't we talk about like your know, atrocities regarding personal wealth I know man sure to be a lot but when they're about you there is there is an ago laggy it was it was a time where people lost their wealth I know a lot of their wealth and to kaha gayo to kasari reappropriate by system ma kasko hat bada use bhayo te paisa pachi gaya ra haina these are questions we we don't ask and even these questions will come out hopefully uh when yeah. when when these these debates start happening and hopefully we get we get some justice in some fashion because there has been a lot of injustice across different levels different um kinds hain yeah Yeah, uh, I have very bad memories. Don't know who I was with. At Maoist times, it's it's been bad because like when I was come from a small business family, and the chanda uthauni was the norm at that time. Yeah, you know, like it was the norm basically. If you had a business or if you like doing any sort of thing, like you had to like pay them just because, just, just because. Just because you can't exp- you can't afford your. business getting exploded two days later right and that's that exactly. was that like there was a tangible threat right tangible threat ka sama puge thyo bhanda thari dai so we it it had reached a point where we had to hire armed guards huncha ni teti bela uh to to protect the business basically and it was on teti bela ko tonopo times ko headline that like people were killed huncha ni people were exactly. killed and like they were like mero ghar agadi bomb blast and stuff like that okay so it's a very like the bacha vela ko tyo you people so this vela ko like memories and like not good ones for them no and na family organize we also talked about the modesi uh, issue agenda and so and also lived through both bacha the na that also lived through the modesi andolan sir okay and it, it wasn't a good place to grow up basically at that point of time Yeah. and the impact that that has on people growing up and all of that if you if you put that all together right now the fact that nobody need has to answer for anything uh, and justify their actions that's that's not fair 
let's be honest i know i mean yeah. the, the the conflict was the root like the, you're the direct atrocities or oh, indirect atrocities ko ta hami kurai gardaina ma aile hai na um stuff like jun aile mass migration bhai ra cha nepali haru ko for yeah. very low paying jobs in climates where they shouldn't be working in the first place why is that such a big thing why is that the biggest driver of the economy bhanne re here bhane the roots are in the war hai na uh things could have been would have been different but you know because you never know but then they could have been very different in a more more uh reasonable political regime banam na theta yes we need to ask questions yeah. at the end exactly. of the day where it, that is our duty as citizens to just like speak yeah. pick up ask questions and criticize answers, and criticize yes ani just to just a throwback of sorts uh current post le special supplement nikala re sa december ma uh where uh this is this is uh this is sort of a repeat of 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 prathanda's interview in 2008 i think um i know where they had finally sort of transitioned from 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 um, guerrilla warfare to mainstream politics and the things that he said and the ideas that were pushed out there well it's it's a nice way to sort of see how things started and where we are and it it, it gives some perspective at least mm. but moving away from politics because we should do that at some point uh, yeah. we spoke of something last time and we said they're not around anymore <laughs> and that has changed since we last spoke so we mentioned fozkip and how it's doing things with uh nepali music from different parts of the country uh and they hadn't t- had an episode in two years uh, we'd like to we'd we'd like to believe or we'd we'd have liked to say that we had inside information that they were coming out with something new but we didn't uh no that i would <laughs> i would suggest this is our superpower Yes. In 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 amro tesro kura we are going to talk about the music scene in Nepal and also emphasize that we have a superpower. <laughs> yes, we have a superpower to revive things that have gone away for a long time, right? Mm. So first keep as a new episode <laughs> after 2 years. After 2 years and this is a women led episode mostly. This yep. Nice music things that I hadn't heard before. several parts but and this is so interesting i know when you when you get to hear like the am like the genre ban ra pani comprehend garna garna level ma archive bhasa nan the nepali music to a large extent exactly uh the kk popular genres or popular styles or you get to hear it i know tara nepali music like maile sunya git har ko hisab le dissect gare bhane chai we've got that phase where pop music was in its prime early mid 2000s by no i think that's when i listened to nepali music as it was coming out the most you know when it was like ekdam ramro music aaira the none of it was i'll be honest none of it was grounded in 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 traditional music but then that's not really a big deal it was original it was it was something that they came up with on their own and that worked really well tyo bhanda agadi ko film music also i have listened to a fair bit of i know back in like the sonu nigam asha bosle or leban nepali git gaune time bo and this was such a recent times and you've got some stars you've got independent artists doing great music i know film music this was i have no idea what happened to film music basically early 2000s i have no idea because ek the film ke baat chan tha chan film music ke baat chan ta jan tha chan but then your traditional music har chai te lok dori bhai khase aru kura le priority pai ra thenan jaseri I think mm. this is a really nice way to actually rediscover these things and rediscover these tunes, I know. Hey, Beautiful. Whatever Foskip is doing is like is gold, okay? Is gold Aye? and it's needed and like I can't emphasize in more more or ek episode to hear that theory once any like I you episode particularly it's just like it's some form of pride and it's also like this form of kosto like heartwarming feelings are okay because uh all bahut se personally like to tarai bata kathmandu aunda theri che there was this innate huncha ni afno culture bhannu man na lagne ke 
Ah. Uh-huh. Ni, and you felt this kind of a shame because it was not in mainstream media at all. Kai pan thi, no? Like mainstream uh-huh. media ma or like usa wane pop music, whatever you're talking about. Especially when I was growing up, that's your yeah. oldest music. All you could do is listen to it, no? That's all the pop music. That three nights, okay, usma. And like if I like spoke in a different way, or if I talked in a different language, or like usa ni, this to ki boy wane like to discount ni, ugar ni, to unti, no? With uh-huh. this, I love how. Haru community like they show it so well and they're speaking like Haru language and so ni like oh. it's not translated it's not like una le jabar jasti nepali bolnu no it's like the most authentic representation of the culture the music the instruments you know i know only like these yeah. instruments have been around you know tyo culturally se bhai rakhcha you know tara tyo recorded purano forms are recorded kati dheri hundaina ke and in a few episodes they've also gone to manang kati kura haru to kunai kunai bhasha ma geet haru cha una haru ko has just been passed down from generation to generation to gaye ke ke bharma ke mukh ke bharma ra baja ke bharma ke there is no recorded forms and what they are doing is like literally it's like the ex- extinct animals haru like they preserve gare rakhe jastai the extinct hunu lago culture haru like preserve gare this is like gold ke and like Exactly. Huge fan Rajendai will have you on the podcast very very soon. Like everybody from the first cape team like huge 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 fan. Like Exactly. Ani arko kura chai le ke pani garcha ani it gives you inspiration for sound jai na. Jastai aba very close to home India India ma music ma that's happening ni already. India ma bhanda ani Pakistan ma it happens jastai Coke Studio season 14 kick ass like every single track I've listened to it over and over again, right? There's uh, two track uh, I think Posuri was the track that made the most news, I know. I think that was the biggest hit from the region in general. Uh tara tesma arge arge track pan cha ke thagya bhanne, I know. And that's uh, Oh. Tyo to kick ass cha yaar tyo git. Tyo that song is a qawali ke basically. So what they have done is the qawali ko sound the the vibe of a qawali, the 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 way the music is structured, I know. It sounds the, the the background sound is a Kawali, and then they're able to augment it, right? The reason they're able to do that is because Kawali has been recorded and documented over time, and then people have sort of become familiar with the sound. So once you start documenting these things, okay, you say Nepali music or sound, so can I capture this sound with a different kind of instrument, right? In a different setting, if can I get inspired from 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 this? like from these sounds or from these tunes but only when that makes it into mainstream music i think i think it will give something that's a lot more original in that sense okay yes sir because the 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 khase unique sounds are there kaum sa ke you got that same tune hai na the shuru ko opening tune and tespachi alikati madal and tespachi you sort of you listen to 15 16 songs you get you get used to it and the compositions are interesting लिरिक्स में धेरे फोकस होली को पैला को म्युजिक में एक्चुअली दिस माइट दिस माइट बी दिस माइट बी इनोप्रोप्रिएट टू सी है बट देन आई एम अ बिग फैन अफ नारायण गोपाल सॉन्ग्स है आई लिसन टू अल अफ दम अन रिपीट सेवरल टाइम्स तर आई थिंक दो सॉन्ग्स आर अबाउट द लिरिक्स है दिव गट रियली नाइस डीप हेवी लिरिक्स है इट्स नट अ म्युजिक फर्स्ट कंपोजिशन to me it, it doesn't sound music first and i forget the tunes lyrics i remember <laughs> it, it's kavita singing there it's basically yeah, it, it's like poetry put put in tune you right? know but then mm. i like i really like songs where i don't know the lyrics and then i listen to a lot of these panif where i don't even know what language it is you know the tune just catches on and then you just listen to the tune and you fall in love with the way it sounds you know i think for that to happen we need to sort of explore what Our sounds are, uh, and, yes. and the instruments are like, the stuff that Kutumba did for me. You know, Kutumba go tracks are it's you know the most soothing things to play in the background and sort of relax and all of that. Watching them live is a completely different experience. For it gives you this energy because that's what they do. You know, they take instruments and sounds that are so authentic. I mean, that's that's just what it is. I think the like, Kutumba is amazing. You know, that. Like in recent times, say the Miro falling in love with what you said, like discovering new sounds, taking Purano sounds or Purano sounds or dear, let's say fusion, gore, let's say like you know you can create amazing sounds, and that is Kanta Dab Dab for me, man. Oh yes, they are really good. 
they're Bro, really good die. rosie like rizu dai oh my god like just to see them live on tony most i had no idea uh, about them kaipani kipani means to me they are most people don't even know them i right? know also song ke event ma hota hai the first yes. time i watched them live exactly oh that's god. what i was going to say so yes. we had kanta dop yes. dop kontra dop dop and kutumba jam together ani oh my the theme god. so <laughs> so that the yo show ko video kutumba ko youtube channel ma cha uh they recorded it this is uh so basically this was an international event so the brief to kutumba and kanta dop dop was we need sounds of the world hai na so basically i can i can i can i can say with pride ki i thought this was a good idea and then i seriously pushed it because mote bela to delivered th- thy and they, they delivered. completely delivered so the idea was let's use nepali instruments and let's play let's let's take them on a tour ja ja jun jun countries haru bada guests haru cha let's play the music from there and let's give them this idea of this i have heard this but i've heard this with completely different instruments and this is interesting man ne vibe ma chai let's let's put something together bhanra that was i mean, that was my favorite show at least probably because i was involved in the process of sort of coming up with that idea and all of that or exactly. but then just the way it sounds i'm really a big fan of that show most of my personal experience once at that level like no most i joined the team later most i was just working as a uh, assistant uh, event manager whatever you want to call it you know uh, just imagine a guy who's in his first year or second year of bachelor's you know din bhari kaam garecha ekdam adavati garecha you have your friends working as well kaam siddhyo kaam siddhe pachi you have free booze you have free food and then like the the initial thing is let's get booze let's get wasted you know I get a drink, and then these. I knew Kutumba, and I never had experience with Kanta Dop. They start playing, and then I hold my drink and look at them, and the sounds were just insane. And the most that was fuck great. I just, I, I just sat there, and it was like a surreal experience. Okay, I, I, I think like, uh, Moile, I asked around like, what is this? What is this? What's any? Well, I I was not even like Suruma. Who is this one? Then again, what the what is this? It was like epiphany. What's any? It's the sound the most sunny. Okay, then that type. Okay. Ah, so this this idea. So uh, so two of us jointly had this idea. So uh, I'm a team brother. Say two of us were thinking of what to do, what to do, and then especially uh, Rajan Dai. So not Rajan Dai you mentioned. but rajan dai from our team uh, uh, mm-hmm. event manager got a team but he said uh, happy ko track ekdam chal raha tha ke tebela thakka recently so he mm-hmm. was like happy bajay when it will be interesting man raha this is like mot tebela two cellos sun raha tha ke two cellos is 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 a pair of cellos and they play mm-hmm. acdc on this mm-hmm. pachi ekdam heavy tracks on two cellos ke so you've got mm-hmm. the, the string goes but uh, it's like this is interesting and then we could do this with nepali instruments banra so we basically went yeah. with that brief to kutumba that that's how that's how that happened it's just that was something like you don't get to sort of get kutumba and konta dop dop to just experiment with an idea <laughs> and see how exactly. that turns out that was that was as nice to, to we, we'll share the link to that track yes we should i think the as a recommendation <laughs> we should just put that also you know and put kanta dop dop on the pair and to completely geek out about nepali bands and nepali music kanta dop dop is something you should definitely check out and there's another uh, nikhil like a project called trikal tantrics it's a five man okay, band with heard. with some crazy instruments like they use like authentic nepali instruments with drum and uh, not sitar i think it's a different instrument i don't even know what's it called you know but it's nepali instruments and then they use tabla and it's a five piece band basically flute yeah, okay it's amazing tara waha haru ko chai most kura haru i think they have their album on youtube you know tara dherai listens dherai views haru chaina i don't even know if you can find them on spotify these are very khojnu parne band haru ke nepali music is alikati alikati garo chai chha to actually find isto musicians haru huncha ni क्रिटिकल मैस पुग्देन कि निश में भाग मानेह इफ यू गट अ मच वाइडर अडियस लाइक इफ यू कैन कैप्चर वन पर्सेंट अफ अ बिलियन जस्ते अब कोक स्टूडियो पाकिस्तान जस्त उ बिकज देर अडियस इज सो लार्ज इवन इफ इट्स अ निश इट कैन सस्टेन विथ दैट निश है हम यू इधर हेफ टू ब्रेक आउट और यूर अलवेज सर्ट अफ अलग अंडरग्राउंड है अलग इंडी नहीं बसिख कि देर नो मिडल भन न I think you saw a connect to Nietzsche or go amazing project is the Sarangi project. Yes. 
also kiran nepali, nepali, nepali from kutumb yes so their their idea is to basically preserve the sarangi and yes. local instruments in general tar sarangi and the sarangi ko so two instruments that that i think like kutumb ko sound mai you you really hear the sarangi and you hear the flute and those sort of drive the drive the ambience hai na and the sarangi has that unique aspect of nepali sarangi all get the different pun so it's not like sarangi as an idea is unique to nepal uh rajasthani music mein apni sarangi ne use hunda it's called a sarangi um uh, mm. but then it's a slightly different instrument uh yeah that here it's it's in that sense we could say that it's a little bit more unique uh the rawness hunda ni sarangi ma tara probably because i'm from manufacturing refined baat hai na eta hoti hai violin mein you 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 get what i mean right violin has yeah. that posh polished precise tune hai na sarangi mein the rawness hunda alikati the alikati scratchy it's, yes. it's so good ne uh, i i love how it is like geeking out about like the <laughs> instrument <laughs> music oh but what kiranda has done with like the sarangi is insane cuz not only with the traditional kutumba sama matra hai na ki he also experiments with like yeah. any like these uh, dj's and like electronic producers are okay so he's also doing sets with them and it's like an amazing thing he does like ab beat drop bhai ra and he's doing full sarangi ma yeah. okay it's yeah. amazing he's also like experimenting with a lot of different things and right, no? so you should definitely check check out like project sarangi they, and also like they on played the on coke studio in pakistan Nepal. as well kutumbali really? there's a track they've done yeah 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 they they were they didn't do it in person but then their music is uh if you watch the video you'll see them play lagere nan banne eda cha okay is one of the early seasons of coke studio pakistan and that is also te pani jatta sundha hai te hunchan coke studio follow garera hunchan audio sundha hai hunchan this sounds familiar <laughs> what's going on wala reaction hune song cha te pani okay and again on archiving something that you told me about uh, nepal music oh, archive yes again like Mote Rajendra let's say Rajendra he also goes by he's the bassist for Zindabad he Atomic Boost is back in town I'm like so stoked that I can't attend because I am here in this cold hell but anyways I know like he does a lot of things he goes by the stage name of Fat Kauli and he's also uh one of the producers I'm the first keep go you know and he, so I follow him regularly and he's been amazingly being in part with uh, this Nepal music archive and we'll put in the link for that also and what they are doing is abo yo sabai pati dheri purani music haru jun chai cassettes ma cha jun chai abo hamle kura gareko music haru that's not on digital platforms haru they trying to archive all of that and like put them on digital platforms but also like use it jun chai university ma music haru padhauncha haina tesa haru ma pani they trying to do all of that so they making an archive for Nepali music traditional music haru पप म्युजिक्स जो कैसेट में थो जो अज पुरानो उ फाइंडिंग अल अफ दिस एंड लाइक मेकिंग दम अ प्रपर डिजिटल आर्काइव आई डोट नो वेयर इन आर विल बी अवेलेबल इट्स स्टिल अ प्रोजेक्ट दैट ऑन गोइंग वी माइट हेव राज ऑन द पॉडकास्ट वेरी सुन एंड आई आस्क हिम एंड डिग डीपर ऑन दिस सो अंटिल देन लाइक जस्ट चेक आउट वट एवर लाइक दे आर डूइंग द होल प्रोजेक्ट इज सुपर इंटरेस्टिंग जस्ट ट्राइंग टू एक्सरसाइज आर सुपर पावर बिकज हमें फर्स्ट केप दुई वर्ष याद छेन बनाए थे सो कृपा ऑन ब्लड भर एट शो थो विच अल्सो ट्राई टू डू समथिंग अलॉंग द लाइन्स अफ रिक्रिएटिंग सम ओल्ड ट्रैक्स है सम अफ द ट्रैक्स आर रियली गुड सम अफ दम आई वॉज नट वेरी हेप्पी अबाउट बट सम अफ दम आर रियली गुड एंड दे अल्सो हेवन हेड एन एपिसोड इन टू इयर्स सो डू यू हेव एनी फेवरेट कृपा ऑन ब्लड एपिशोड्स दे नोस्टाइलिया भैर मैं तो वाइल्ड कृपा ऑन ब्लड को ओके माई 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 फेवरेट ट्रैक द ट्रैक इज हाईली इनअप्रोप्रिएट with life mm-hmm. and times but then kumar basnet ke ada library lai bhanne track cha ni mm-hmm. uh, so he did that on creep on plot and he, he sounds old kya the track ma you can hear that voice aging hai na that makes it all the more interesting that he sang it himself and then it's 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 with more so the library like original uh, usma chai basically we were joking about it off air ki खास इंस्ट्रुमेंट्स को यूज कम होने पैल पैल के ट्रैक में बेस होते ट्रेवल मत हो सब ओफर में बस्ते नहीं हो था पारो हो कि कई होने सो अच्छे देव एक्चुअली द भोकल्स आर द सेम दे आर मोर र इफ एनीथिंग अंदर पे इंस्ट्रुमेंट्स आर वेरी क्लीन क्या इट्स साउंड सो डिफ्रेंट एंड सो इंट्रेस्टिंग loons the thing no but then the live recorded sessions or whatever that was exactly. the only thing we had like at that point of time you know mother 
like mukti and revivals was my favorite band growing up and you know? And I had the f- good fortune of like working with them, and like that's why like Nikhil Dai ko all projects are open. Nikhil Dai is the amazing drummer for Mukti and Revivals, and he's also played for Nepotheo and like multiple different bands. He's also the drummer for Kanta Tap Tap, ah, uh, multiple different bands. So I've had a good fortune with like working with them, and like man, and veteran like, ICMC George, <laughs> veteran ICMC George. They've played <laughs> Moyle when I was organizing ICMC, and you know? I was like, this is my chance. I am <laughs> heading this event. Mukti and revivals are gonna headline, <laughs> which yeah. oh my god, Mukti Dai is like a like a true 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 rock star man. Like performer, okay, Dai performer. Like once any, you just to watch him live is a pleasure. Just the way he talks, just the way he interacts with the crowd, once any. Even if you he's not performing, if you just like talk to him, just the way he talks is like once any. Like he can. I keep on talking for ages and just like listen to him mm. is is amazing. So, All right. Okay, I think we should end this. <laughs> so let's wrap this up. We'll put some links for some of the music that we've discussed, and we'll also put in a documentary uh, about the conflict in Nepal uh, and the uh, situation that 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 was there at that point of time. It'll give some perspective on what things took like, and yeah. All right. So, as always, everything we've talked about, all the news articles, sabai link aru will be down in the description if you want to read anything further. Sabai kura is available down and do check out our recommendations. If you like it, let us know and like, share and subscribe. This is it. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Bye.